In this tutorial series, we will learn how to create a disco floor from scratch. In the front view, I will add the image reference, reduce the size, depth, and opacity, rename, and lock. Now going to add a cube, resize to match the reference and move it. Then add a rectangle curve and increase the depth value. In the edit mode, subdivide then convert to mesh. Edit mode again and delete these vertices. Now edit to match the reference. And make extrusion with E then S and move it a bit to make it a rounded end. Now select those vertices and add a bevel with Ctrl B, then increase segments. For the floor, I will apply scale and select both faces top and down and add bevel again. Duplicate those and add some short columns using cylinder mesh. Now to see things from the right angle, I will add a camera, edit the resolution to be a square one, change render engine to cycles, choose GPU next, and reduce sampling values as follow to make things lighter. In the camera viewport, we'll move the camera to a suitable location and make some edits. Duplicate columns Now for the floor, I will add some loop cuts in the edit mode with Ctrl R till I reach 18 faces to match the reference Now going to add some lights First one on the left with a power of 100 and a pink color. Duplicate it to the right and change color. Now duplicate it again and move it in the front of the camera and change color. For the background, I will add a plane and move it back. Now let's start shading phase. I will add a simple material for the floor and change the color to match the reference. Now for those floor bars, I want to give them a metallic look. Change color. Reduce roughness to zero. Increase metallic a bit. Duplicate it with a color change for the other two. Same thing for those short columns. Apply it on one and link the material to the other three with Ctrl L. A basic dark color for the background. Now for the disco floor. The first method, select a face, add extra material, assign it to the selected face and call it floor piece one. 
roughness to point 2, transmission to 1, to get a reflective result, since I want it to be reflective when it's off, and when it's lighting, I'll change the emission color to pink, and string to 2. Now to make it blink randomly, I'll add a noise texture, one dimensional. I'll add a greater than math node, so that when the random noise value is greater than 0.5, it will blink. And whatever the output is, I want to multiply it by 2, with a multiply math node, to increase the emission strength. Now when I manually change the W value, it will start blinking. I will add a driver now, to make it blink randomly when I hit play. Frame divided by 150. For the second phase, select it, add a new material, select the same as first phase, duplicate it, and change the emission color to white. Hit aside. Now change the driver value manually to make the faces blinking out of sync. Now repeat the process to all 16 faces. New material, duplicate, assign, change color, and driver value. Can you imagine if you have a hundred of those? So annoying and time consuming. So here's a trick. I'll move the floor to a new collection. And in the edit mode, I will separate every floor piece to its own object by selecting, duplicating P for separation. And it's an individual object now. Repeat for all faces. Now select one, remove a floor material, and add a new material for it. Call it Pinky Blink. Roughness to point 2, transmission to 1. Before continue, since it's a separated object now, I will add a solidify modifier and a bevel as well. Increase segments. Now select all pieces and link data with Ctrl L, then copy modifiers. Move them all a bit down. Now repeat same exact blink material we achieved. Change color, link strength to one dimensional noise texture, add a greater than node, multiply the output by 2. Now the new trick is to connect the noise value to a math add node and give it same random driver frames divided by 150 and connect it to object info node with random attribute. I will select all pink pieces and transfer same pinky blink material for them. And you are done! Now for the white team Duplicate Binky Blink and call it Whitey now. Change the color and apply it to all white floor pieces. Since every object is separated and everyone have a different random attribute, then Blender will do the math for you. Moving to the compositor now. We'll change compositor first to camera to see live results. In the compositor, use nodes, add glare node, fog glow, increase it, and for more interesting results, add lens distortion node. And we are now done with the floor.